In 2021, the far-right Jair Bolsonaro administration pushed through a measure granting autonomy to Brazil's central bank. Now Brazil has the highest interest rates in the world. In Recife, our correspondent Brian Mir has more. In 2021, the Bolsonaro administration passed a law which transformed Brazil's central bank into an autonomous organization that can't be directly controlled from the president. An autonomous central bank is one of the key tenets of neoliberalism. And Brazil had fought off pressure from groups like the IMF, the international finance community for decades to prevent this from happening. It's happened now. And the man who Bolsonaro appointed as central bank chief, Campos Neto, will be in power until December 2024. The problem is that he's very close to the former president and he's being accused of deliberately sabotaging the Brazilian economy by maintaining the world's highest interest rates at 13.75%. This has led to a campaign to try and get him removed from office. To do that, however, Lula needs a majority vote in Congress and the Senate. And although he's managed to put together a coalition that eliminated some of the worst elements of Bolsonarism from the national government, it looks like he may have a problem convincing allies from the center right, including Congressional President Arthur Lira, to get on board with it. So tomorrow, across the country, the labor unions are leading national protests demanding for an ouster of Campos Neto and a more sane approach to Brazil's interest rates.